Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about worm composting for the most part. I do a lot of experiments to show you what you can do with your worms and also, you know, what they can eat. There's a lot of rumors out there about forbidden foods, etc. And this experiment is no different. Today we're going to look in on my excellent bin. And basically what we've done here is we've started feeding a population of worms, which are uh, one pound of the Red Wiggler Blue Worm European Nightcrawler mix in a regular old mortar tray, which is about, you know, two feet by a foot by about eight inches deep. And we fed them eggs. First time we fed them two scrambled eggs and it took them a little over a month to get through them. The last time that we looked in here was three weeks ago and we fed them one frozen hard-boiled egg. And the whole point behind this is, can they do it? What else can I rescue from the landfill? <clears throat> All right, so let's start taking a peek here. And uh, I did leave the lid off because things were getting a little too wet in here, but obviously this is way too dry. So let's see what the worms have done with their egg and then we will have to uh, add more moisture and some more bedding to help stabilize the system here. All right, so we did mound it up and it looks like we've run into our worms. Not sure when we're gonna get to the egg. Lots of wormies all balled up there where it's nice and moist at the bottom. Looks like they're making some good castings. And here is our egg. Now I didn't take all the shell off. <clears throat> and it looks like they're they're in the egg. <laughs> Try not to break the shell. Alright, well we're gonna have to break the shell. Let's it's all it's all worms. Look at that. It's gone. Good worms. There's literally no egg left. That boiled egg is gone in three weeks. That's amazing. There's nothing left inside that shell. That is nuts. Holy cow. All right. Well, three weeks. It took a lot longer to do the scrambled eggs than it did the, the boiled egg. I'm so proud of you guys. Um, I don't know if they just need to get calibrated to the kind of food or something. Um, I was not expecting them to be done in just three weeks because it took more than four weeks to uh, get them through the scrambled eggs. So let me go get them some food. I totally wasn't expecting to uh, need to feed them more protein today. So let me go get some more eggs. All right, we're back with some more food. All right, well, I'm going to take and put a little bit of a, a base here at the bottom and then we're gonna try raw eggs this time. I did heat them a little bit uh, just so they wouldn't go everywhere, but uh, this is two eggs, sunny side up worms. Um, you know, so, so it's like if you drop an egg and it falls on the floor, you can still feed it to your worms uh, instead of putting it in the garbage or what have you, uh, if you don't have dogs that would clean it up for you. All right, so now we're going to get to see what happens to raw eggs and see if the worms can get going as fast. We know that it took 45 days for two scrambled eggs. It took 21 days for one hard-boiled egg. Let's see how long it takes to do raw eggs for these worms. Now, the temperature is currently 67 degrees Fahrenheit and 51% humidity in the basement. So, uh, it is getting nice and warm, so I should have expected that the worms would uh, get more food uh, processed. I'm going to add a little bit more wet bedding to this just to uh, make sure the bugs stay out. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to this, but you don't need to see that. That's boring. If you like these experiments, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.